Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Ace Attorney Trilogy Adventures here tonight with Case 3, or Episode 3, Turnabout Samurai. I forget if it's like Silver Samurai or Steel Samurai. It's something with an S Samurai that is at the core of this case, I do believe. Who knows, maybe it'll be stalactite samurai and I'm just an idiot. Eh. But let us go and see what happens tonight on Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. Let's -a go. Krah! You have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon of the sky will cries for your blood. The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon, for it will be the last moon you ever see. I have to read fast, because they go fast. See you in hell, evil magistrate! Oh! The warrior swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode, The Dark Messenger Returns! What a kid sh Well, I guess it's a Japanese quote-unquote kid show, so I suppose they could get away with saying hell. I don't think an American kid show would allow hell, but who knows. October 14, 5.31 p.m., Wright & Co. Law Offices. I wonder why they decided 5.31 specifically. The game developers. That rocked! See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa! Stop waving that broom around! Oh, Nick! I didn't know you were here! Of course I'm here! What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? Does look cool. He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, ten years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only seventeen. That's seventeen, see? I am a teen, not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only twenty-four myself. Then watch it with me. He's really cool and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Gramps. Well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law offices. You think they would, considering that <laughs> it was... You think that news would get around at this point. Here's the defense attorney that turns a case around and has, like, the witnesses arrested and tried for murder. Like, you think that would be something, especially there, where it was such a twisty, turny case. It began with, ah, a law attorney was killed. It was her own sister. Actually, it was her attorney, like, understudy. And then Psyche was actually this giant detective information agency magnate. Like, you'd think some attention would be put upon Phoenix Wright. Maybe it, maybe it's because they changed the name. <laughs> it was no longer, like, Faye and Co. law offices. They changed it to Wright and Co. so nobody could find them. How am I gonna get going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Come to think of it, yeah, he probably doesn't have that much, like, money saved up because Larry's case, case one was basically, I, I would assume pro bono, because it was a favor for Larry. And then Ma Maya didn't pay, and Phoenix Wright couldn't pay himself to defend himself. Then again, you'd think that we could go to Grossberg and just be like, hey, uh, you give us some money, you blackmailed bitch. We just saved your ass, and not only that, but alleviated yourself of the guilt 
that you dared to not defend Maya. You think we would get money somewhere? Huh. October 16, 8.14am, Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Still ear piercing. Hey, hey, I only saw two brings on the screen. How dare there be three in the sound? Hello? This is Phoenix. Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! You're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No, I mean he actually did it in real life! He skewered a villain with his samurai spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come down to the office quick, please, Nick! Granted, it is a, a back and forth like that would be a little confusing after just waking up. Maya's here, watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kid show The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer. Jack Hammer. Who would name their child that? And why was he not in construction? Who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate? His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. Like, I guess maybe he could have been poisoned and then stabbed posthumously, but... A spear out of a body, you, you, you think that it's the murder weapon, you think that'd be the thing that killed him. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over, the world is over. Once again, ear piercing bring, with two written, three heard. Yes, right in Cola offices. What? Nick, uh, it's the Steel Samurai. W what? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So, I've decided this will be our first case. I mean, why not? What to do? What to do? What to do? Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to go down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai! Does she want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? My money's on sightseeing. Any ideas? We don't have any information to make a case yet. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. No! We just don't have enough information! <laughs> well, let's go to the detention center. October 16th, Detention Center. Visitor's Room. Wow. Early guy, ain't he? What's wrong, Maya? It's him! In the flesh! Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him! Will Powers, our client. That's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. Whoa! 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 What are you saying? Um, yes? Something wrong? N no, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed? Oh, no, oh, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Nick, what? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. <laughs> Why do you keep going back and forth like that, Maya? I love that the first look you see at this big burly man in like a tracksuit with a smoking pipe emblazoned on it, she's like, he had to have done murder at least twice. Well, what happened? Maybe we could start by telling us what happened. Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. 
There was a rehearsal scheduled for five in the afternoon. But when five came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. That is a brutal hole. I get it that it's just the suit, but still. <laughs> that is a brutal hole. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jackhammer. Dead. He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes, it's the long spear that I... that the steel samurai uses as a weapon. Steel samurai. Maybe you could explain to me just what the steel samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? I I'm sorry, sir, I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. <laughs> hey, who's new to this? No, it's all right, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo-Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> I see. Neo-Old Tokyo? Who comes up with these names? Powers his alibi. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. Wow, they went, he accidentally broke the samurai sp Well, I guess maybe a practice spear there, because I, I doubt they would actually use the bona fide super duper real thing for uh, a rehearsal where they're not even in costume. Who knows? Also, wouldn't they want to do it in, like, some form of costume because the costumes would be limiting, so you'd want to do the scene, or at least practice the scene in a suit like that so that you can, like, know the limitations and how it will go, actually? Maybe that comes later. Learn the movements, then learn the limitations, I don't know. I've never been on Power Rangers or anything. Also, a security guard lady in the background, <laughs> looking like that- oh, what's that, like, melted painting with a screaming person? She looks like that. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after five. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. What will the kids think? <laughs> I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right. Global Studios, I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go. I'm willing to bet ten bucks, she asks for an autographs. Thank you, Mr. Sir. We uh, shall go to the studio main gate because we have nothing at the office. October 16th, Global Studios main gate. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome, aren't you excited? Hey, you there. You want in, you gotta go through me. Old bag? Why, old bag? Why is your name old bag? Oh, sorry. We're, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. G gawkers Gawkers, sightseers, tourists! I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Yes, today. Something horrible happens. Wasted all the time. You are going too fast, old bag. Stop! Too fast. Hippie clothes. What are you coming to the sun? That is way too much. Um, Nick? I grew up to be like her. Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey! Listen when you're being spoken to youths today. Well, the studios. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No, you're a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Hey, a lot of people would love to play villains. Because you get to do so much, you get to overact and have fun. 
Will Powers. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jackhammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. Mr. Hammer, what kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Ah, uh, so yeah, this is basically... Kind I uh, Maybe a... Who knows? There are a million, like, Japanese shows that I probably don't know exist. But this definitely seems to feel like Kamen Rider or one of the Sentai, especially with the naming scheme here. Dynamite Samurai, Steel Samurai, so who knows? Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that, reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. Wouldn't... Dynamite Samurai have been a, uh, a a kids program as well, considering that it's in the same thing. Alright, I don't know. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Reason for suspicion. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from one in the afternoon to five when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. Hmm, I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. Maybe I can show you my attorney's badge. What's that? You giving that to me? Absolutely not. <laughs> so I guess I have to go get a... Letter of diddly -dee. Hello! How's the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Your alibi. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? W what? No! I'd never do that! Earlier, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says that she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible! I, I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise! Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business and I need every advantage I can get. I know, I'm sorry. But I swear to you on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. The security lady. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. <laughs> yes, actually she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the bigwigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. Gah, she's got some nerve. Do you think... You could, uh, uh, do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course. Powers request added to the court record. I just hope this will get me past that security lady. Thanks, Powers. I shall return and clear your name. Hey, old bag. Let me through. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. Powers request given to the security lady. Do you think he would entrust his fate to youths of such unreliable appearance? Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass, but only left from here, toward the studios. No going to the right, that's the employee area. 
No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. All right, so main gate. So to the left, yep, is Studio 1 and Studio 2. And then, yeah, just the employee area. We're definitely gonna go into the employee area at some point. Those are 50 cents apiece, thank you! Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! Utter Madwoman. Uh, nothing else to talk about. Well, let's go to Outside Studio 1. Why is the head off? Okay, I guess there is a tree that is broken. And a security camera. We'll definitely want the security camera stuff. It's probably not real. Hey! Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah! It's the confused detective! Hey, pal! You know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's your fault! I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window! Um, so? Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work! Uh. Oh no, we hurt Gumshoe's feelings. Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey! You can't just go around saying pal like that! That's my endearing character trait! I'd say he's a character, all right. The investigation. So, how's your investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal! Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right, so, detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Time of death was... Yep, 10.15 at 2.30. Cause pierced through the chest by a spear, so... The time of death was at an accurate point, it seems. She did say between 1 and 2.30, I think, that powers came through. Reason for arrest. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m., and at that time there was no other wo no, no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30. Only one person went into the studio between 1 and 2.30, and that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal! If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, Anyone could think Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. The security lady. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed up, showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Powers said? She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? The decisive evidence. What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. The photo of the steel samurai heading toward the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See that camera up there? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of him. Oh, no. Nick, he has evidence. We're finished. Funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. <laughs> um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. <laughs> I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. Yeah, nothing else to do, so... Oh, wait, let's see if we can examine, just to be safe. Hey, there's a camera here. That's the security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who and where. There's a number plate on the camera, ST1307. 
That must be the camera ID number. I'm a little bushed. Maybe I'll take a short rest here. Hey, good idea, pal! Detective, aren't you on the case? Well, yeah, but... Hey, us, de us detectives get tired of standing around too, pal. Well, let's look at the beheaded statue. The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. Well, it does have, it does have a, a... A tail. I thought it was wearing a red suit. Mainly because the face is very odd. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? Uh, that's what I'm saying! He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to Studio One, left to Studio Two. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday, and the head broke off. It took that tree down with it, too. And... Ah, look at the gate. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jackhammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. Hey, it's locked! Looks like you need a card key to get in. It makes sense that they would want to keep the non-employees out. And nothing else, then let us move! I guess back to the main gate. Nick, look! The security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts! I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Ouch! Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? <laughs> she had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Photographic proof. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm, oh, that. I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk to the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. It is, it's my job to check the photos every day, you see. Reason for suspicion. This guard station is an essential position. No matter where you go, you pass by my station first. No, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before one. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one that did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? <laughs> good one, Sonny. She thinks I was joking. Granted, I don't think that she has the strength to skewer a, like, action star, like, type actor like that. Unless it was from behind, but even then. I feel like she would crumble into dust before she could wriggle a spear through the bone. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was past tense. Oh, yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He is shown the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate, which a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? Automatic camera. About the security camera. Oh, yes, the camera. I like how we keep flashing back here, like an anime flashback. Remember where the camera was. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a photo, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos in the computer over there in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. Well, let's go to the employee area, why don't we? They said we shouldn't, but we shall. All right, Global Studios employee area. Nick, this is where they do all this behind the behind-the-scenes stuff. Hey, look, there's Powers' dressing room. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Well, first we shall examine a window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Let's see, cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh, it's so normal. I was expecting some cool themed snacks or something, popcorn at least. Wait, look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Ladies first. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There is a T-bone on one of the plates minus the steak. Hmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger! Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What?! What are you? Like an actual, like, literal 
cow with like five stomachs. There's a sign on the dressing room door. Will Powers, it must be a neat to be the star and have your own room like this. Yeah, nothing really to see, but hey, we might as well to cover all our bases. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? Precisely. Well, let's uh, go to the dressing room. It's a head! Someone died and put their head there. Powers' dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping? Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth for his sake. Granted, we haven't seen the photo yet, so it could be Bigfoot for all we know. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say we're already wearing one myself. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it is kind of dusty outside. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? Precisely. Hmm? This must be Powers' bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! An employee card key. That must be Powers's. Powers. How... Pronouncing, like, ownership like that with a name that ends in S is so weird. Powers's. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. Card key added to court record, a.k.a. our inventory. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Ooh, this is the wig he used in Samurai Boogie Woogie! Nick, try this on! No. And how can you tell the name of the show just by looking at a wig? I am kinda like samurai movies. Kinda. They always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. And I do believe that that will be it for this area. So let us move along, little doggy. It would be amusing if, like, the uh, scenery changed if you went into a place and then came out. Thus kind of making it so that you're... Like... Have to be on your toes. Let's see... Well, let's move on to... I guess we have to examine and then... Yeah, look at it, the studio gate. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opened! All right, we're in! She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Thank you for not, uh, asking anything, dear Gumshoe. That looks like an outline of a frickin' Transformer. I'm sorry, a man died there, but it's hilarious. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so... so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Well, why can't we look in the bag? Wow, look at the camera! That must have cost a ton! Yeah, so don't touch it! Whoa, it's heavier than I thought! Hey, you! No touching that! Oh, definitely not the right voice for you. I am terribly sorry. Um, sorry, my partner's kind of, you know... You know? No, I don't know! Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly. He has to be in innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us! I wasn't done examining, but at least that summoned a new person to talk to. They outlined where Jackhammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. 
punny. I expected a spear stabbing who would leave a, at least a few bloodstains. Yeah, except the costume would have contained it, I guess. Yep, the costume must have absorbed most of it. Most of it? You mean all of it. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry. This girl is out there. I mean, he's right, it is a step ladder. Hey look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone, a real life megaphone. Ready Nick, action. This girl is more trouble than I thought. What's this? That's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I want to be the director. Or maybe the Steel Samurai. I think she's being serious. <laughs> uh, let's not mess with the cameras again. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course, that's the mountain, Neo Fu- <laughs> Neo Fujiyama. <laughs> Everything has to be Neo. Everything has to. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in Old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not Old Tokyo, Nick. Neo Old Tokyo. Oh, right. Well, let's talk to you. The day of the crime. Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. They have the number one children's show. How are you doing bad? Well, granted, I guess execs beyond the, the studio themselves could be taking all the benefits. I mean, just look at actual Power Rangers, which ruled the world one day. They still paid their actors terribly. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. They look so... they look like they're good friends. Why would they hate each other? Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Will Powers. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? Wh what kind? No, no, I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. So much for getting a confirmation on Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm... Um, sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Well, sensing someone, let's get more information. So you sensed that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Yeah, but it we just would like a little bit of uh, extra information. Uh, nothing for you. Let's go grill the old lady. October 16th, Global Studios main gate. What, you're still here? Really, you look as though you've seen a ghost. Uh, you're pro probably gonna be one someday. Assistance claim. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face? I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. 
Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? <laughs> All right, you better tell me quick and tell me quick, you spooky head cretin! Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her! She's not even a full-time employee! Oh, you youngins are like that nowadays, running your mouths like tomorrow's if that's gonna be the you you have to go so fast. I can't I can barely read that fast. She left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can do without her looking over our shoulders. An overhead map of the studios. Right here from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. Silence, birds! The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. Silence, birds! You are not real! The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this, with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Try it! Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick. Looks looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. It looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. One, that was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Uh, ST1307. There, entered. Hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. It's a goddamn costume! Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15th, 2 p.m. photo number two! What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day. Nope, that's the only one in the computer. But it's photo number two. Wait. Shouldn't there be photo evidence of Jack going to the studio? If it's the only one from that day, then it should also catch him coming back. Pretty terrible. Somebody deleted something. Or is terrible. The camera's just terrible. Who knows? Hey, hey, Nick. Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right. We'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait. Let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you kind of did that with Mr. Uh, uh, Red White last case. You took the, the 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 suicide paper with White written at the top. And you're like, hey, Mr. White, I. <laughs> Yo, Mr. White. <laughs> Jesse Pinkman, attorney at law. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you did show uh, a, a potential suspect evidence. Granted, you were uh, really working hard and didn't have much to work with. But at the same time, diddly D, uh, still not a good idea, my man. Granted, it, he was also super powerful and wouldn't have come to the witness stand any other way, so... But still, a bit hypocritical, since you didn't really talk about this to us, the audience, why it was a bad idea. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So are we done for the day? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is the security lady? But yeah, she did say that it was the only person she saw go from go f to the studio was between 1 and 2.30, and it did happen at 2, but still, the fact is, it's a costume. You can't see who he is. October 18, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number 4. Against Edgeworth again! Edgeworth, my boy, your record is going to plummet after this. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. 
The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime, except the fact that it could be anybody in a goddamn costume. And plus, we do have vibes, but we can't really run. Why do... Why do... I mean, why, do, why do they? Why do they get to run on vibes? And like, oh yeah, the vibe of you being the criminal man, bleh. But I can't do your vibes of being innocent. Heresy. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well. I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run through their action scenes during the morning here. I don't know why I read it weird like that. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the production assistant. Well, and the, uh, the guard lady. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim Jack Hammer went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got the guard got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to the Studio One to perform rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. That is still such a gruesome face. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? It is nice that they, uh, uh, give you the option, but no, I don't need it. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Samurai spear added to the court record. I don't know what we'll need that for, but okay. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is... What did the security lady at the guard station see? A costume. She saw a costume. Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. I'm going to be doing a lot of voicing for you, aren't I? Will the witness declare her name? Hmm. My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> He's already... <laughs> He's already on the back foot. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, Edgy boy. Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please! Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Windy old bag, dearie. Just call me Grandma. So even when I was young, it was old bag, but not really. So all the other children make fun of me. Believe it, but there was this boy, the captain of the chess. He called me old bag as well, just cried and cried. <laughs> Objection! I object to the witness's talkativeness! Objection sustained! The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was. And to get the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. I wonder if this will be the easiest one to just dismantle. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station of 1 p.m. No problem there. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. No problem there. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from there until five. Now the murder happened at 2.30, right? 
interesting to me because a certain man walked by at 2.30. It was Powers! The man right there, and he was heading towards the studio! Well, th this will be easy. You saw the defendant, then. Hmm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Of course, we'll press, because pressing doesn't hurt. On the day of the murder, we don't care, don't care, don't care. Let's press. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Get wax in your ears, Sonny. I think this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again. It was him. It was Powers. That man right there. Except... We, you can't know that. Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, Mrs. Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. It is a cool photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag? Is this Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, they can't! Um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I... I know that! I wasn't born yesterday! No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss... Uh, witness? He's having trouble calling her Old Bag, apparently. Fair enough, it is a weird name. However, you do not have proof of the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmm, nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness. Please make known all of your information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you! Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof, then. Ah, more. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs, see? Clear as day. Now, that's how I knew it was Powers, Happy. But at the same time, he broke the spear, but the spear is full there. Hmm, so he had a sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. Don't need to press that. I saw Powers chip and fall. Wait. But you were out on errands. Who was uh, present at the run-through? Well, let's see. There was Powers, he's the Steel Samurai, then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate, and me. And what exactly were you doing? Observing. Just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run-through then. I saw Powers trips and fall. But you said that you were, that were trip and fall. Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh! So Powers sprained his ankle. I helped to make it better for him, of course. You helped to make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, her. She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke a prop. Sure did. His own samurai spear. A samurai spear, the murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as so significant detail. i better write this down in the court record. A break in the shaft has been mended with duct tape. Ah. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. 
I think we've heard enough. I haven't we, Your Honor. Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where is this steel samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the steel samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Let's take a look at the photo. Uh, it does look like it's mended with duct tape at the top. I'm just trying to think. But if it was a prop... Well, it, it is definitively the murder weapon, so I'm just trying to think. Ah, let's object. It doesn't hurt. Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities! But we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Do you have the first photo, my dude? Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Ah, <laughs> account continued. The time of poor Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before was Will Powers. No one else went there. And if they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be this Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Hmm. The time of poor Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30, true. I don't think we need to press there because it says right there, 2.30. The only person I saw before then was Will Powers. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking passed by at all. Nobody suspicious looking, right. No one else went there. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before one? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention. If they had, I would have seen them. Are you sure? <laughs> the witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. E edgy boy? <laughs> Old windbag sure has balls, or, well, you know what I mean. Old windbags have a, <laughs> have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. Hmm. What kind of evidence can I have? Hmm. It has to be something specific. Because I can only assume that... Hmm. Yeah, I have... I don't know. I need to be very careful. The time of death was that. The only person she saw before then was Will Powers. A.K.A. the Steel Samurai in the Diddly Deep. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. I'm trying to think what logical deduction I'm meant to make. The only person that she saw go to the studio was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had... I would have seen them. But what do I use? I can... Hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering what the game wants me to do.
And again, it, it also doesn't help that I have to present it on the right dialogue. Maybe I object and show the photo again, but that could knock some of my trial points. But it does say number two. Hmm. Because let's see. The time of death was 2.30. The only person she saw was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. I'm just trying to think. If they had, I would have seen them. Because I guess, technically, if somebody was at Studio 2, they could then go to Studio 1. But I'm not sure if that's what the game wants me to do. Hmm. Time of poor Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30. True. And I, th like, there's no reason to press on that, I don't think. Let's do it. How do you know that? Eh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective, and then, after some rubbish about being a secret pal, he told me everything. I see Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. Yep, so nothing there. Ba ba ba. Because I'm trying to think, the only thing that I can think of right now is the photo number two, but I guess technically photo number one would be Jackhammer going to it. Or does that mean October actually October 15th 2 p.m. photo two. That means that there had to have been a 2 p.m. photo one. No one else went there. But again, I don't think... Ugh. Save because paranoid. If they had, I would have seen them. Well, let's... Objection! Try. Hold on! Look at this photograph one more time. Yeah! The photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a photo. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Ooh, you know if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. Even I know that it means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really, Sonny. Actually, I knew that, too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says, Photo number two. Photo number two. The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be number one if it was really the only photo? Especially at 2 p.m. Order! Order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there's only data for one of the photos. Who else could have erased the photo for the other? The other photo. My brain just jumbled words. Only someone with access. The security lady herself! Eh? You watch your mouth, Whippersnapper! The only other person I saw that day was Will Powers! But the camera on the gate fired twice! That means two people went by! Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help! Uh, believe me, I want to, I want to, but I don't know what that, what that means either. Um, some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag. Ah, that's right. I I just remembered something. Also, when it went to black like that, that reminds me. I don't know when, 
but I know that Phoenix Wright is going to get a psychic rock that allows him to dismantle people's lies with, like, lie locks. I don't know when, but I'm excited to get there. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Oh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Ah, uh, I see. Your testimony, please. I do like that we have the same judge throughout. I like him. The other person. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss Old Bag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. I like Maya. Maya's a nice friend. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. No need to press that. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Which I guess is fair. If, like, a bird flies by, you have no need of it. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Hmm, a fanboy. Fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. W wait a second! Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and, well, there's, that's where they come in. They come in through the train? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. K kids So on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. What?! Order! Order! I don't know why this causes such a roar, but okay. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be a, in second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Uh, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Hmm. There has to be something that puts it all together that we can at least argue, hey, maybe the kid was the killer. Well, they did kill... <laughs> they did kill the evil magistrate! <laughs> so maybe he's a fanboy <laughs> who's like, I'm gonna kill the evil magistrate for my Mr. Samurai! <laughs> Mr. Powers? Yes? Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go into the studio. I didn't go into the studio, I was sleeping honest! Who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel... <laughs> steal a steel... Steal a steel Samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, what are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right, and it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. 
Okay, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. I feel sorry for him. He seems like such a good guy. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant of Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts. The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order! Interesting! Let us hear who you have in mind, however. Be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So who was this other person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? All right, we need to be careful, because it can't be the boy. The grade school boy, we can't really say that it could have been him. Because, but at the same time, again, the ooh hoo hoo I'm gonna kill the evil magistrate for Steel Samurai. But the security lady. Could we accuse Old Bag? Or the assistant girl? She was moving stuff elsewhere at the time. She was moving backdrops and wasn't there in the employee area. That implies that she could have been in Studio 2 or Studio 1. Oh, but I feel bad about throwing her underneath the... the bus. But the security lady does look down on powers. and we could probably explain the dragging their leg by her being an old lady. Hmm, but she also seems like the obvious answer. Because it can't be the grade school boy, he's too short. He's too short and we've they've already de decided that it couldn't be him. And again, it's just like, I'm trying to think within the bounds of the game. Because it could either be the security lady or the assistant girl. Let's accuse the security lady! It was the security lady, Windy Old Bag! Oh! The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. I completely forgot about that. I went on completely different logic, yet came to the right answer, apparently. Ha 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 ha. Victory is mine. The security lady old bag! What? Whippersnapper! Order! Order! Is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Alibi, to throw suspicion off. Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in the costume, she could have pointed the figure at Mr. Wow, my, my tongue is tying to betwaying me along with my brain. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes too, baby. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up when an objection in some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. <laughs> Does he just hate Old Bag so much that he's like, nah, screw this bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna let her roast. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> what? What's this supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there. Do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way? <laughs> Grab me up. 
break. <laughs> well, let's press further because we we can also provide the information that she really f wait. Actually, hmm. Because on the one hand, she thought highly. Well, actually, actually, she might have thought highly of Jack Pow of uh, Jack Hammer. But at the same time, she kind of sucks up to authority. And she really does seem to dislike Will Powers. Let's press further. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now, Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy, the one whose photo I erased. He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it to be nice to the kids and mean to your elders' day, whippersnapper? I have proof. Proof? Indeed? Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? Card key, yeah. You need that to get in. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> oh, windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. <laughs> it's nice to have everybody just gang up on a witness for once. Wait a second. I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me? I'm talking. What? Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By whom? Huh. You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify. It never ends. It never ends. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free! Do I even need to cross-examine that? Miss Holdbag, this is crucial information! Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. Now then, no, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. <laughs> My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. Tell me. Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? Who should have known something was fishy? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. S Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate all the way to the left. The path where the monkeys left. Uh, well, this is... <laughs> Phoenix's brain is so consumed by the windbag, his inner thoughts became her voice. The path where the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but...
Let's continue. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? Miss Oldback, this is a trial for murder! I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So you got your bonus and you still talked. Hmm, I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. Yeah, let's take a break. <laughs> your Honor, we have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and er, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. I still love the line, give Granny a break. October 18th, 104. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, uh, really, it's nothing. Grim. Oh, or should I... We'll be going down... Oh, I don't know what that was. Blech, my brain. We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. We'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag, I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. And she was withholding important information. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to you and visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Once again, I do like that there's like these built-in checkpoints. Then you're like, ah, you can have a break. But yeah, there were moments in there where it's just like, okay, which specifically do I need to go for? And I am happy that I picked all the right answers by going through them deductively. October 18th, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Why are we back here and not at the studio? Ugh, oh, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and the producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here, then? Let's get to the studios! Yeah. What to do? What to do? W what do I... Huh? Why don't we do what you just said? You gotta keep the scoop on this director and producer! Alright. There's no point in hanging here. That's what I've been saying! <laughs> uh, oh, we can even go to the detention center. Why not? Let's see if we can get information. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us well, get us going in the right direction? Hmm, sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about the fanboy. Do uh, fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. That security lady's pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. The director. Was the director present at the morning run-through? Yes, yes he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us before? Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick, here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I... I see. <laughs> Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. I like him, he's a big softie. 
No one's here. Right now they <laughs> now they have Miss Oldbag in custody. I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey, in the guard station, look, she left her donuts. What? I wasn't gonna eat them. Let's quickly examine the computer. The computer that runs the studio security cameras, huh? It looks like it's been turned off for the day. Well, that's suspicious. Well, let's go to the employee area. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey! Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh, <laughs> don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, oh. Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover the, up that drain. You mean that one? <laughs> With cardboard? Wow, what a mess. I, I know. I'm not so good with handiwork, some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and backdrops, right? Right, just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fix them. Oh? Oh! Well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right, I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go on and go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbag. Right, see you later then. Good luck with your investigation. So the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through that drain? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick! If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick, we can? Whoa, she's serious? Uh-oh. Nah, yeah, let him in, then we can talk to him and get information. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? hee There, that should make the kids happy. The things we do. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably Neo-Old Tokyo Castle. Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? Well, some people cycle to go places. Oh yeah, I forgot. We can slide. Well, let's go into the dressing room just to make sure. This is where the Steel Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powers says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh, she's got a point. Mr. Powers back, I wonder what's inside. Hey, supermarket tabloids. Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Maya, leave those alone. Wolfman found on Mars. I'll have to buy that <laughs> I'll have to buy that issue! It's locked. I guess he doesn't open his window. It's kind of dusty. And we can't slide, so no point being here. Oh, hello. Ho ho! You look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. Hmm. Well, let's talk the studios. So, how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? The fanboy. Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. The director at all. I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here at the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director? More of the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? I wonder if I could show her the picture. What does this look like? Could you take a look at this? That's Mr. Powers. Why is he dragging his leg like that? 
What is this anyway? Looks like she didn't know about the photo or the entry that morning. Uh, never mind. I wanted to see if she, like, gave any, like, anything, anything to that. October 18th, Studio One entrance. Hey, Nick. It looks like the Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up in his neck and paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So, Nick, remember that Studio Two we heard about at the trial today? It's down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today? Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Personally, I say that we check out Studio One just to make sure there's nothing new in here. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else. Nick? Uh, no sliding, and there doesn't seem to be anything new, so yeah. Just wanted to make sure that nobody, like, popped up there. To Studio 2! Granted, I wanted to go to Studio 2. That would have been nice. Like, the first day we were here. This place is deserted. Crash. Eh! Nick! What's that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Why is there a bent post? Like, metal post at the bottom. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. And what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. Well, first, I want to check this out. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking a good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. On closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think it's part of some of temporary film set. These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. A light van for moving stuff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd run fine. Well, let's go for a ride! Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this! Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? It's something he's proud of. Incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. So it's new. It's already covered in soot. They must not be clean it much. Hmm. A new incinerator that's heavily used. Security guard station. I can see the computer that runs... Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. I really want the key to that trailer. Maybe next time. What do you mean, next time? And when there's nothing new to talk about to her... Hmm. Well, we'll quickly check Studio One again. Nothing new. Now we'll go to the employee area, see if the kid has taken the bait. To the employee area! Hmm. Dressing room. WTF! Who are you dudes, Lamau? Oh, we? Wait, you first! Who are you? Look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lamers! How could you not know the great Salmonella? Salmonella. Uh, Salmonella, you, you do not sound healthy. I make Telit's shows! The Steel Samurai, mind RTFC! Read the film credits. Really? You're the Salmonella? I'm so sorry, I just... you looked so... sorry. No, no, quite alright, really. It's cool, fine, Rothful. What is it? You'll know on closer inspection. <laughs> hot! 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 Yep, you are a weirdo. Hey, do you do a lot of cosplay? Cause that's costume rock sores. Rock sores? What? Hey, you're drooling. To think, again, this game, like, at least the initial copyright was for, like, what, 2001? I think. Was internet speak really already at that point? That it would get its representation like this. Granted, if any representation, uh, it, you deserve it, weirdo man. Mm -mm, lol, buffer overrun. You've triggered my creative powers. Yes, yes, it's coming to me, Pink Princess. 
the sequel to Steel Samurai, Pink Princess Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. He already has the design in place. Ruffle Lamau. Pink Princess? Why's it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. The day of the crime. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you dudes are. That security lady told you about it, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in some Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> I was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. A T-bone steak, was it? <laughs> yeah, Sucksaurs. I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does Sucksaurs mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after four with the producer and some big wigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. The producer. About the producer. Who was at the meeting with you? Oh, you mean Dee Vasquez? She's a genius. Math skills all the way. Scary, though. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You made a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. The bigwigs. Who exactly are these bigwigs people you mentioned? All the boss over at the network and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers. Hmm, sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. Is there anything that I'd care to show you? Well, maybe show you the picture. This is WP, right? How do you know? Well, look, he's obviously dragging his foot. All right, the director would know about that injury he was there. And maybe the murder weapon. I try not to pay too much attention to things that don't interest me, lol. Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> he is a very strange man, but I think that's all we're gonna get from him. But it does mean that he has a solid alibi, so meh. Nothing new. Maybe, uh, the, the... Oh, it's old backpack! Aha! You again! <laughs> How rude acting like you've seen a ghost! You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did! They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume! Told me to put it on, can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would roll out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slighter insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure talk a lot for someone who keeps her <laughs> sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. <clears throat> this lady's too much. Can I steal the keys yet? The security guard station. I can see the computer. Hey, no touching. Guess I'd better investigate later. Darn. The fanboy. Um, about that kid you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick, look at her eyes! About the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick, I think she's losing it. Hmm. Well, I guess let's bounce back to... Well, let's once again check out Studio One. Nope, nothing here. Now we'll jump out to Studio 2. See if it's magically opened up. The trailer door. It's locked. The key's probably in the security station. I doubt they'd let us borrow it. Can't examine the gate. So I guess we'll return to the employee area, I suppose. Ah, it's the kid! Hey! Hey, wait! I'll bet he came in right through the train. Hey, um, Kiddio, what's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that! Uh-huh, but you, you are a kid! What a rude little brat, that's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. A hippie fashion? 
Nick, I think I'm being mocked. <laughs> Poor Maya. You got to hand it to him, Maya. She's pretty smart and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Call me Kittyo again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer! The Steel Samurai. So, you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evildoer! What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side! Ha! Ha ha! You can't fool me! Okay, then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! <laughs> Easy! Like some fries of that? Hmm, not bad, kitty -o. Watch it! What are they doing? Well, what happened? Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... He... He always... The Steel Samurai always wins, always! Yeah, I saw him! I saw everything! What? B -b no way am I telling you, losers! What? Wait! Let me go! And he's gone. He's gone. Huh. Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? How's this sitting here, I wonder? Empty bottle. Sleeping pills. Somebody gave our boy WP sleeping pills to get him out of the way! Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Well, let's see. Are you still here? He's still here. Uh, let's see if we can present him the sleeping pills. Yep, he tries not to care. And instead he leers at my assistant. How dare he. I'm going to assume we'll want to show the sleeping pills to our boy. Oh, is she gone? Where's that old windbag? Oliver to leave her post. Hey! Oh, she's chasing after the boy! Nick, that was her! Stop, whippersnapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after the boy. Natch! Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. Time to steal! Hey, hey, Nick, now's her chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key of that trailer in the studio, too. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Of course. Something mysterious is going on. And we have to get to the bottom of it. To Studio 2, at first I'm going to save because I am paranoid. Well, to Studio 2 we go! We have to examine. Can't just go in. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great! Let's go, Nick! She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, uh, not that eager. In we go. The Singing Samurai, Samurai Summer, Dynamite Samurai, and two others that are covered. Yeah, this definitely seems like a meeting room, but why was it locked? Oh. Because a smoker is here. Eee! Someone's in here! Names. Uh, are the names? Um, we're WP's lawyers, and, um... I see. And who might you? D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez. She's quite beautiful. Uh, I assume that you were here the day of the crime. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. Uh, excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A uh, script. The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit of the day of the murder? I need to read it. All right, we're getting nowhere fast. The Steel Samurai. Um, we'd like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss Vasquez, it's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick, she's telling us to go to watch TV? That nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. And uh, the director, he was here, right? About the director, Salmonella, was it? What exactly is his role? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick, are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Yeah. Wait. Yes? If you see Manella, give him this. 
Why do we have to do your errands? Because it's, it's, it'll probably open up things. Come on, Maya. You can't. <laughs> I don't think I like her. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. <laughs> don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, we'll give it to him if we see him. Vasquez's memo. Bring me the script for episode 13. All right. Let's quickly examine while we're here. Looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures on how, how much the set costs. I can't believe they spend that much money on these sets. Another old movie poster, The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh my god! That movie is the best! It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune! Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know. Singing Samurai Stars. What's next? Ninja Ballet? Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster's quite old. Wow, it's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. A typical summer romance with a samurai on a horse? Obviously, the romance was between the horse and the samurai. An old movie poster, Dynamite Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. And that's it. Anything in the trash? Nothing in here to be a clue. Just some paper cups and crumpled documents. Hey, I want to look at the gold with the green. This is where they had that meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Honestly surprised that she just does not care about us being here. We're just there, and she's like, eh, go get me the script. <laughs> Give me the script or I'll kill you. Who employee area. The kid is still gone. Good for the kid. My dear sir. Oh, this is not the proper one. Well, actually, anything to talk about? Nope, we just present him the memo. You got a memo, sir. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me a script for episode 13. Episode 13, where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Oh, my ass is pwned if I don't find it. Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be here. At least I don't see anything that would resemble it. Highly doubt it would be here. Obviously, let's go to... Hmm, doesn't seem... Let's go to Studio One. I think that's where it would be. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. Obviously, I think this is what it's gonna be. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in! Oh, the director? Maya, take a look around that chair for me, would ya? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Aha! Found it, Nick! The script! Good work! Script placed in pocket. Steel Samurai script, the cover reads episode 13. Well, off we go. Why are there three, like, things? Three little, like, uh, crime notes around here. You'd think it would only be one. Are they counting, like, the suit, the body, and the helmet? Well, let's go to Studio 2 and give her the script. She is weird. Uh, yes, miss. Uh, uh, here's the script you were asking for. Here, we found it. Your script. Uh, script handed to D. Vasquez. Um, uh, you're not gonna talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on! What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And do you even know who we are? Powers is lawyers. Um, right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder? Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon? Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? I'm not interested. Oh. 
I, for some reason, I thought it wanted me to present more stuff to her. The blocked path. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked? You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that. What an original name. Ooh, a dynamic angle! Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't stop moving the head out of the way until after three. It was, in, it was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. But there's clearly a gate with a car! Like, clearly there's a gate. Can't you have gone around? Stuck in this trailer, stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came just after three to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But, but wait! What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. What is with this game and every single thing involving clocks? It is a monkey, after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15. That's right. The path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in the studio at, at 2.30. See? Goodbye. <laughs> Mr. Monkey is now in evidence. But it is weird that it is specifically noted to be 2.15. Because that still would have left time for somebody to have come through wearing the Steel Samurai costume at 2, uh, at two o'clock and then have gone to the trailer before 2.15, but that still wouldn't explain who killed him. Hmm. I don't know. It just, it seems weird that it's specifically 2.15. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. I guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. But I want to head back and uh, talk to the man. Because we have... Uh, let's go to the detention center. Because we have sleep pills. Because... Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that, whatever it is. I wish I could think of a way to help you. Sorry. I just think it would be important. October 18, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have a promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early. Ah, is it Mia? I think Mia's made a return... It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. M Mia, it's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. But, but no way am I telling you, losers. I know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy's our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. <laughs> we can. I like how this is basically the mission control. If you lose where you are or need a hint, you can kind of come here. But we've been going for about two hours, and I think that seems like a good amount of time. We... I, this feels like a nice stopping place because we returned back here. Got a hint on where to go next. Look for the boy. We got a bunch of information. We went through one trial. And it feels like we're on the cusp of more information and more diggity diggity digging. Alrighty then. I do believe that will do it for now. 
but thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. The edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, which I'm totally going to create content for again, I swear. I promise. And then Neon Icy Games, where I stream on YouTube as well as upload the VODs after the fact. And if you want... Well, if you prefer Twitch, I also stream on Twitch because I can dual stream because I'm not a partner. I am not chained by bureaucracy. But other than that... Ba -ba -ba. If you want more more from me, I also have various arts, social medias that I post to, like Newgrounds, DeviantArts, uh, Twitter, Tumblr, just lots of them. There's too many social medias. That's why I made a link tree, which can be found in any of my description areas, or at least it should be found. It's possible I might have missed one there. But yeah, it should be like linktr.ee slash neoniceywings with a variable list of all of my social medias, because damn they, nothing can be simple. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.